What is up guys and welcome back. So now in this video, I'll be just showing you that how we edit this uh, home products, the products in here, because I just thought it, um, that you guys must be having confusing uh, confusion that how it is created. Okay, so you just have to go to Visual Builder right now. Okay, and then you'll be taken there. So you have to just work with it. You have to make some changes there so that it works properly. Okay, you can see I'm right here. This is being loaded. Okay, and I have some products there being shown, but I want to show you how they are being shown. So you can see um, this is um, a layout that we have. Okay, and in here we have a shop module. Okay, this is the shop module. We have product count and we have column by number and the order by is three. So I'm just going to show you how this is going to look. So if we just come here, you can see that we have the column selected is this and then this. So in here, we have a shop module, which is this. So let me show you um, everything from start. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to delete it. Okay. And on deleting, you can see that this is right here. So we have view all products and nothing else. I'm just going to come here and I am going to just add a new shop module. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go down. And here you can see that we should be having a shop tab. So this is the shop tab that we have right now. And I am going to show you um, the recent products here. So you can see all the products are coming here. And so I don't want it. I just want to show just the sale products. Okay, so it should show just the sale products or the popular products. So for popular products, I think um, it should be best selling products. Best selling products means popular products. Okay, so I'm just going to show popular products from here. Okay, and the products count is going to be three. Okay, not more than that. So then it will show you only of the three products right here. So you can see this is how it is looking. Okay, and then we have the column numbers. So column number is going to be three column maximum. You can just check it out and you can see this will be So default is also three basically, but you can also go with four columns if you want four columns and four column will be here. And then in the product count, you have to just add four. So it will show four products right in here. Okay. You can see how this is looking, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the default one. That is the four, uh, three, and just choose the three from here. And then we have the order by, this is called default sorting. You can also order it by um, oldest to newest or sort by price to like low to high. So low price will be here and the high price will be on the left side, right side. So you can see this is the lowest. This is right here and this is right here. Okay, so um, this is how it works now. Here we have the elements, so you can show the pagination if you want to. Okay, then it will show all the products in here. You can see um, all the products are coming here and it is creating a mess. So then we have the background image right here. You can also work with the background. Okay, we have the admin label and everything. So you can see um, how this is looking. We have uh, the design right here. And in here we have the sale badge so you can change the sale badge color okay you can move it to be like um the brown that we always use so i'm just gonna make it brown okay um now here i want to go with the image so you can also go with the image box shadow if you want to give you can see how this shadow is looking so you can make it like where you want it to be um like this okay you can see how this is looking we have box shadow vertical position you can also make it below and something like that so you can see um how it is looking Okay, we have the image shadow and then we have, uh, let's go down and we have the text so we can change the text. We can make it centered align. You can see this is now aligned to center. We can also give it a shadow if you want to, but I don't want to give the shadow here. We have the title text. We can make it a little bit bigger in size so that it is visible. Okay, you can see how this is looking. Okay, I go down and then I have the price text. So price text can be like brown if you want to change the price text color. So I'm just going to make it um, brown. So you can see the price text is now brown. Okay, I have these type of changing that I can do. I have the width so I can just make it smaller if I want to. I have the spacing, I have the border and the box shadow and the animation. So in the animation, I want to give in the slide. So the slide should be from the right. So you can see how the slide is looking. So this is how you want it. You have to give the animation and you can see this is looking amazing instead of this. Okay, so you can just see it. So now you can see that you can, this is how you can just add the shop effect um the shopping things here in here and you can see you can build a professional 
based WordPress um, e-commerce based website. Okay, so you can see how created this looking. So now we're totally done with this. In the next video, we will be working up with the shop page. So that is going to be so much fun, guys. So stay with me till there, and you guys are gonna love. We're gonna install a plugin basically that is called the Woo Multi Layout, and then we're gonna be working up with that. So stay tuned, guys, and bye bye.